Hey guys, and welcome back to today's NBA video play of the day. We're heading into game two of the NBA Finals. Cleveland finds himself down 0-1 after that poor performance in game one at Golden State, where the Cavaliers really struggled offensively, having their worst offensive performance of the postseason thus far. But both of these teams really dominating throughout postseason play. Golden State going 12-0 and throughout the Western Conference playoffs, and Cleveland going 12-1 and throughout the East playoffs. But if you guys are interested in getting more of this pick content, be sure to head on over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, which I'll throw a link to in the video description. Over at our main website, you can access our daily free play as well as all of our top confidence premium bets, including all of our picks against the spread in the NBA Finals. We did grab a win with Golden State covering the spread in Game 1, and we'll have another pick against the spread on our main website for Game 2 as well. In this video, we're going to talk about the over-under, and if you're interested in getting more of these pick video plays in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our MLB video plays of the day as well on our YouTube channel. So, heading into this matchup, we have the Cleveland Cavaliers down 0-1 after that poor performance where they put up just 91 points in Game 1. And really, we were on pace to potentially push the over at halftime with the Golden State Warriors sitting at 60 points and the Cleveland Cavaliers sitting at 52. But things just did not go Cleveland's way in the second half, especially offensively. And then in the fourth quarter, Golden State pretty much just coasted to the win. But Cleveland only put up 20 points in the third quarter and 19 in the fourth. Golden State had themselves great offensive performances throughout the first three quarters, putting up 35, 25, and 33 points respectively. And with that huge lead in the fourth quarter, both teams kind of pulling up the reins there at the end as Golden State even went on to outscore Cleveland in that final frame, 20-19. to 19. But clearly, uh, both teams were just kind of running out the clock in that scenario since Golden State had such a significant lead at that point. But Golden State did their part, putting up 113 points. And we've seen a ton of over covers this year in postseason play on the totals you know typically in postseason play at least in the past both teams tend to go more into a half court game and value each possession more but we haven't seen that quite as much in this postseason with a lot of teams favoring more so trying to get out in transition and get more easy buckets as we've seen more of a free free flowing up tempo pace to this postseason but that wasn't the case for Cleveland in game one putting up just 91 points which was pretty surprising considering the fact that Cleveland was coming off some really strong performances against the Boston Celtics for instance their closing game on the road they put up 135 points and in recent games against Boston they also put up 112 108 130 and 117 points and really you go throughout the playoffs and Cleveland has been consistently scoring over 110 points uh, they just weren't even able to crack that 100 point barrier in game one against the Warriors but I don't think it's a huge concern it's not like Cleveland completely handed over the series with that poor game one performance there's a popular saying that a series doesn't really start until the road team picks up a win so Golden State holding serve there in game one not all that much of a surprise what would be a surprise is if Cleveland didn't come out and try to at least show a bit better in this one and even if they do lose this one, they will get the chance to bounce back with two games coming at home in games three and four. So these were two of the more prolific scoring teams throughout the regular season, including postseason play. Uh, Cleveland ranking fourth throughout the regular season campaign and scoring average with Golden State ranking first in that category. In game one, we saw Golden State do their part with, you know, guys like Kevin Durant put up 38 points. Steph Curry put up 28 and even reaching that 113 mark, Clay Thompson had a terrible performance going just 3 of 16 from the field for 6 points total scoring there from the all-star shooting guard. If we get better production out of Thompson in this game, the Warriors have an even higher ceiling on the offensive end. We could see them push into the 120s and even beyond that. And we do expect Cleveland to be a little more comfortable in this game too in the tough atmosphere uh, with Golden State getting the home game. But LeBron James, he wasn't bad at all in game one. He put up 28 points, grabbed 15 rebounds, as well as dishing eight assists. He'll just need a bit more from his supporting cast, especially the bench. Uh, you know, you have a guy like Kyle Korver play 20 minutes and not score any points. Um, you know, a guy like Darren Williams coming off the bench at the point guard position, playing 19 minutes and scoring zero points. Tristan Thompson, a starter, scoring zero points on 22 minutes of action. Uh, and J.R. Smith, just three points in 28 minutes. So those are some guys that we should certainly see better performances out of 
in this game two action. And if Cleveland can get up to about 105 to 110 points, especially with the total shrinking to about 221 points right in that range. Um, in game one, we had it at 226 as the total. So things have certainly come down, and that's because of how Cleveland played offensively in that poor game one performance. But we see Cleveland bouncing back a little bit and pushing things a little bit higher as we see this one going and pushing for the over uh, for the game two. And that's going to be our NBA video play of the day today, siding with the over on the total bet. If you guys are interested in getting more of this pick video content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out our MLB video play of the day every single day. And for this pick against the spread in game two of the NBA finals, as well as our daily free play and all of our top confidence premium plays, head on over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, which I'll throw a link to down in the video description. So thanks guys for stopping on in and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.